25 summers, we back. So so how do you feel about um, prisoner, you know, re-entry to society? And the reason why I ask this, because for you to serve 25 years, come out, have a good job with the union, you know, not having to do anything illegal to survive, you know, how do you feel? Do you feel there's opportunities for people when they come home? Or is it just the age old saying, oh, they just come home, it's no opportunities because they want to send us back? Or do you feel like people are not applying themselves? You know, elaborate on that for us. Yeah, well, I don't I don't necessarily subscribe to the fact that they just want to send us back. What I do want to touch on is that the fact is if you spend one year, because if you're going upstate, man, you're going to be upstate a minimum of one year. The smallest bed you can get is a flat one or two. And back then it was a one to three. So you're going to do a mandatory year upstate. Whether you did one year, 25 years, it's what you did with your time. You have to manifest and master something. You have to participate in something, a trade, because that's what's going to be at your leisure. You go to school and you get your diploma, and from there you get some type of trade, a plumbing, electric, a construction, a bricklaying. So are you saying that the skills that you learn in prison, they're meant to be applied when people come back on the streets? They're meant to be applied whenever you come back on the street because that's your only tool. That's your only powerful mechanism you have is using yourself to get employment. Okay, playing devil's advocate. Who's going to accept those skills? You're you're an official electrician in the prison. You served 30 years. You're an official, official, excuse me, bricklayer or something. Who's going to respect that on the street? What avenues do you go through? Is it the unions that respect that? Yes, Is it certain go, companies? How, how does yes, that work? You can go to a certain company. You want to be union represented whenever you out here now working. You want a benefit plan. You want something that's going to happen down the road for you. You don't want no something that doesn't have medical or an insurance or an annuity or something that's going to give you a benefit to help you out. So, but you can go to the union and join the union. And when you join and fill out the application and paperwork and so on and so on and, and, and present your credentials, they will contact you and they will hire you because that's the only industry that I know of that has no policy that would, would would not allow you to participate in it because you have a criminal history. So loosely translated, the New York State Labor Unions accept convicted criminals. Or is, is it yes. is it it's it has nothing to do it has nothing to do with your crime. Even if you're a murderer, right. a rapist, a drug dealer, if right. you get out there is an opportunity with the New York State. Right, right. They, they, it doesn't matter what you did or whatever the case is. Obviously, man, there's things that's going to be looked upon and shown upon, like these rapists and in some cases murders and so on. But for the most part, they're only really interested in your ability to perform at a level that they that you say you is. If the job entails electrician, you have to be a certified electrician. If you say it's bricklayer, you have to be able to lay bricks. If it says with plumbing, you have to be able to change pipes and do that. It's no fronting and faking it to making it in there. Once you get the shot, the foot in, you're gonna be tested. And if you fail that test, you're out on your ass. There's no more coming so, back. So it's also is it also safe to say that certifications that you earn in prison are accepted and respected on the street? Or is it like some of the people who go to online colleges, but it's only accepted in certain states? It's not, or is it accredited, basically? It's not, a, transfer, you, it's not a transferable skill because the prison system was saying that you serve a time for a felony or crime that you committed. They're not giving raise to a lot of the certifications, just like I have a certification to be a cook. I cook for 2,500 people for over five years. So, in and, 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 and the mess hall, in the prison system, and I was a, a, a inmate cook, you know what I'm saying? Or how you say a prisoner cook. So, and I have the piece of paper to show that credentials of that. To that, that's not accepted out here. They still want you to go through their process, man, and being tested and then being tested and trained and then doing it their way. And then you're able to cook for multitudes of people, schools, hospitals, colleges, and so on and so on. But the skill that I said that a lot of us that's going to prison, 
has very limited education. A lot of most people is getting a GED. Some are going to college, some are doing college credits, but for the most part, the GED will suffice. To get out of the penitentiary and come out here, the last thing you will want to say is that there's no jobs or there's nothing out here for you to do. Because if you didn't waste your time in there and you acquire something, it's going to be utilized in society. If you didn't acquire something in there, then you wasted your time in there to the, the average employee out here, you're wasting his time too. So now it's not going to be no job. So it is utilized in society, but is it accepted? Meaning I served 20 years in Elmira, Clinton, or whatever. I'm an electrician. How does that translate when you come on the street? Is your uh, uh, electrician, if you have a certificate or a degree, you know, mm -hmm. my baby got his college degree, you know, in college or mm -hmm. whatever, uh, you know, uh, okay, in jail. Uh, uh, Albany, is that Albany is where the commissioner office is, the Harriman State Campus. This is where all the certifications is, the licenses and everything's being given to you for things that you earn while you're in the, in the state um, penitentiary system. Albany certification on a seal is good enough for you to take home with you to the employee whom that of whatever skill you're claiming. You're claiming electrician and you give it to him. He's going to respect the fact that Albany is the capital. Mm -hmm. And everything that comes out of there is legally, is legally binded and it's a, and it's a uh, definitely it's a seal document. So he's going to take, you know, kind to that. But in the same breath, he's going to test you to his liking for this job that you said that you can do, that Albany said that you can do. And if you can do that, then we have no problem. But as far as I'm just saying, okay, I'm going to give you the job because Albany, you got a certificate for welding and Albany said certify you until Albany certifies you. If Albany certify you, you get licensed. The license is good in prison. Okay. There are plenty of prisons that's giving out licenses. You know, uh, Department of, uh, of the um, um, on Motor Vehicles, DMV, they have a prison for that. Uh, they're giving out licenses to make license plates in Auburn. You have a license to do that. Of course, it's a security level in that because you got license plates and you come across all new ones. How does that translate to the street? Because you made license plates in prison okay. for New York State prison. Correct? New York State. For New York. I mean, you made license plates in New York State mm -hmm. for the state, mm -hmm. not for the prisons, for the state. So how does that translate once you're released? Dude? They're going to look at you as candidate number one. We need you. And what they have in New York City it's called fabrication centers. Fabrication center is a place where they erecting metal, steel, and putting things together and making them joint or uh, cabinets, you name it, from cabinets to beams to moldings and stuff like that. And if you can do that, they'll give you the job off the back. Um, are those the same people you were telling me about that make the trash cans for the parks? But right, right. All of this stuff is fabricated in a fabrication center. If you can weld. If you can fabricate, you would you would get a job maybe faster than the person that walked in off the street and just says, yo, okay, cool. I know how to use a, a torch. I know how to use a blowtorch. I know how to use a TIG welding machine, a MIG welding machine or something like that. Because a lot of talk out here, what I learned is they want productivity. So you don't really have to do too much talking. Just, just, just get down and show them what you can do. So there's no conflict with, let's say, the guy that's been working all his life that works at this company. And he's been working there the last 20 years, and then you spent the last 20 years in prison. Like, how? There's no jealousy or there's no conflict. Of it's a lot of admiration because it's a lot of admiration. Because right now, I just I did a job about maybe a month and a half ago where we had to do. Uh, walls we did did a wall around the block and it was a building and the building was long and it was like over uh 1400 feet long and that was like like three quarters of a block and it went up to five stories and we had to do 16 inch center block bricks blocks and then in the front of it we had to face it with the uh red brick and all and i worked with a guy that yeah he was laying bricks for 30 40 years man and he was from uh argentina and he used to just be he used to ask me a lot of questions about ways you do it, 
ways you cut corners? Is this the quicker way, faster way? Because he said he couldn't believe that I learned how to stack. And the stacking is a word for laying bricks. He said, I couldn't believe the way you stack. And the only experience you got is in prison. So that was kind of like, uh, uh, it, was, it was amazing to him. And then vice versa, because he's coming from his country where they're building up their city industrial in Argentina, and he was happy to be a bricklayer, and I was asking him about shortcuts and ways to make the cement, free, quick, dry, fast cement, and, and different ways of how to measure corners and hang bricks and do stuff like that. And he taught me a lot. So, But it's never really no animosity. The animosity comes in at, as if you're picked to, to perform a job this above his grade title or his rate, then the animosity would come in because he would be like, yo, I've been out here doing this and he was only in prison. But you know, that's pretty much everything. But as far as for the getting the job done, nah, I never really had no issues with dudes with animosity.